Welcome to the beautiful Florida Keys. Grab your paddleboard as we glide through the mangroves and explore hidden coves. Is that quicksand? Of course not. The next day, we reel in some impressive catches and cook up a mouth-watering meal where we have a close encounter we will never forget. That was good. That was good. We're back at the Sugarloaf Marina. This is where we rented the pontoon boat. And we're putting in the little red today. We're gonna put our paddle boards on the little red boat and we are going to be going 10 miles to some mangroves and we're gonna paddle board around that today. Now these mangroves are inaccessible to motorized boats. So when we get to that point, we're gonna have to anchor the boat up and then we get our paddle boards out and go into the mangroves. And here's the paddle boards. Well, this is the fancy one David's got. We got our cheaper ones. <laughs> I was about to say, that bag looks really nice. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> He's making us look not uptown higher end. He is very uptown higher end. Now, if you want to be able to do this and you don't have a boat, but you want to, you have a paddle board, you can come to this Sugar Loaf Marina and rent one from Backcountry Boat Rentals. You ready? I'm ready for our 10 mile journey. Let's do this. This is a serious man back here. Don't trust anything he says. He's been lying to me this whole time. Name Tells one me time. More than once, bro. Name one. Uh, the fish doesn't have any teeth. You can grab it like a bass. It had teeth. Name two. Uh, go ahead and jump up there and walk on the sand. It's not, it's very soft and it's just broken up coral. Okay, you got me. So it was like, you know, I got several on the guy right now. The water's really low out here in the bay today. However, there is some people back here that we just passed and it looks like they're having a difficult time trying to navigate through this area, especially since they don't have a GPS. Captain Dave's got the same GPS coordinates that we had on that party barge in the last video. Yeah, this water's extremely low. It's so pretty though. Oh yeah. I'd, have, I'd say it's about three foot deep right now. What is it? Two seven. They got to be willing to get on plane though. Yeah. If they want to get on plane and follow, they won't have the opportunity. What does on plane mean? You level out the boat. Yeah, so when oh, we first yeah. start, it dives down and then it goes like that. Are you guys heading to Snipes? Going to Marvin. To Marvin, you're going the wrong way. You got a route or no? Yeah, I mean, you're going to Marvin. You really need to be kind of going that way and over there. Map, maps are okay, but it's so shallow out here, they'll get you in trouble. You're okay? All right, sounds good. No problem. Well, they're using a paper map, so they'll figure it out, I guess. But it's not very accurate in this low, shallow water. It's gonna be many hours before they get to Marvin Key at the rate that they're going. Well, maybe the water level will come up by then. Maybe. <laughs> We're now entering the area where we're gonna anchor up the boat and that way we can air up our paddle boards and get out here and explore. This looks gorgeous. It's beautiful. All right, so we're over on the west side of Snipe Point right now. There's a bunch of little mangrove cuts through here. We are able to use the boat in this main channel that we're in. There's one other main channel to the west of us that we can also go into with the boat but all of the branches, all of the little cut-throughs, we cannot take the boat into. So we're gonna get tied off here, we're gonna air up our paddle boards, and we're gonna go explore. I wanna get over there where that sand is exposed. Oh, we got a lot to explore. I know. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Captain Dave decided it would be a smarter idea to tie to the mangrove trees instead of anchoring because when the tide comes back in, um, it could move the boat around with the sand. There's so much current coming through here that it might pull the boat out to the out yeah. to the Gulf and we don't want that to happen. And we won't be anywhere near the boat for a little bit. So it's smarter just to tie it up to these mangrove trees here. Today we're working smarter, not harder. If you've seen some of our older videos, you know we've used the hand pump, which takes forever. But David brought out 
an actual paddleboard pump. And that's what we're about to use. Um, correction, that's what I'm going to use. You guys are going to have to do the manual and the plate, unless you want to pay a small premium to rent my machine. Okay, whenever you're out there, we're going to take the boat and go back in. <laughs> <laughs> you call us when you're ready, we'll come get you. We still have the instructions in here in case we need to know how to air it up. Yeah, you know, it can't be too safe. And if you're wondering how we're going to operate this, it has a negative and positive terminal that hooks up directly to a battery. So that's how we're going to use this. Nice. Well, it's so hot out here that we don't know why, but I'm saying because it's hot. The pump started smoking, so we've reverted to the hand pumps. Well, we can't win for losing, can we? Uh, tried and true right here. Cool. Yeah. All right, my turn to get in the water. What all do you need out there? I need water. Water. And some green. And some green. And fuel. All right, and pedal. Mm -hmm. All right, so are you letting me out? If yeah. you want, or you can stay right there. I'm it's gonna up to you. check this you out. Right I there? can stand up in that. I'm gonna go check that out. Just check them. Check yeah. if it's muddy. Stick the paddle in the water before you get off the paddle board to make sure it's not straight mud. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. You're free. Good luck. Have fun. One down. Two more to go. We're still gonna try to use that hand pump or the electric pump. Oh, she's booking across that with no issues. That current looks a lot worse than it is. Is that quicksand? Of course not. Okay. That was the one thing I was always concerned about as a kid on the cartoons is that I would have to one day come encounter with quicksand. Still haven't encountered quicksand. Is that quicksand? That's not bad. Okay. The pump worked for one more board partially and we had to hand pump it. But now the last board, which is David's, it's all hand pump. Thank you. Decided we'd go ahead and eat some lunch. It's hot. I'm starting to think this wasn't worth it. Oh, oh, we're almost there, David. Almost there. Five pounds. We're trying to get 15. Got 10 more to go. Okay, you want to go? Yeah. Whew. Silver lining is at least we got one and a half filled with a hair compressor. Last party barge. I mean, paddle board. God, get my words up. Last part of uh, paddle board done, and he's gone. Let's start exploring this area. trying to capsize me <laughs> Would you shut up? we're heading back to the house and on our way back look at these dolphin right here now this is officially the closest we've ever been to dolphin oh my goodness where's the other ones oh, right there god there's a bunch of them actually <laughs> Man, this is awesome! Right Teamwork, y'all! We don't even know what we were doing, but it worked! <laughs> Here 
You ready for one of the greatest days you're gonna live? I'm ready, I'm ready to get back on the water, especially the Gulf. Kelly was telling David and I how much she wanted to eat some more snapper. Well, we told her, you're gonna have to catch some snapper. And we're gonna be cooking it up. We're bringing the cooker, we got the propane. Captain Dave's back here getting everything ready so Kelly can know how to fish. We're setting up a couple of trolling rods. Might do a little bit of trolling. I'll tell you this though, I am exhausted. David is really pushing me to my limits. We've been going non-stop since I've gotten here. And what is causing us to go non-stop is that we constantly have to pick the days that the weather's the best. And it turns out <clears throat> every day's the best. That is why we have been going non-stop. But after today, waves are supposed to be high, right? The winds. Yeah, the... we got a couple of days. The winds are going to pick up to around 15. Makes it a little, little less friendly out there. You can still go, but it's less than 10 today. So why wouldn't you go? Today we're back at the Sugarloaf Marina. This is where we're gonna put in and we're gonna be on the Gulf side again today. Captain Dave is getting some shrimp. Shrimp are in here. Mm -hmm. Is that the same thing in this other bucket too? Everything? I don't know what's in that one. Uh, I don't see anything, I see fish. All right. So let's go find out if the truck's game because oh, right no now shrimp. there's no shrimp. Okay, that sucks. Since we don't have live shrimp, we're going to be going with frozen shrimp and frozen little fish here. What are these, David? Pilchards. Pilchards. Some squid. Okay. But it does suck because when we were fishing the other day, live shrimp was the key. They were hitting hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll still catch something today. By the way, I'm finally becoming one of the cool kids here in the Keys. I fi officially have a shirt that has a diving flag on it with the lobster. Even though I'm not certified, I told David I'm going to be getting a license plate for the front of the truck that has a dive flag on it soon. If you have a truck with a license plate with a dive flag and you're wearing a t-shirt with a, with a dive flag on it, you're basically a scuba diver. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, Lord. Another reason I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt is these help you not get sunburned and i i got a little red yesterday Burns. yeah my lower lip is jacked up from the sun chapped my back is a little actually my back's not hurting dude oh, it's so splotchy though it looks like you got like i don't know that's the only place you put sunscreen on i guess, I guess so i thought i reached my back but maybe i, I did he did he put sunscreen on the bottom of his back just, just right there he just went yeah, that's why it's not that's, that's why the rest of it's burnt yeah you need to wear it's that not, shirt it's not burnt it's it's good. It's, it's browning. Uh, oh, they're already there. Whole school of them. See them, babe? Big ones? Yeah. Hang not on, not the on, not the mutton. Those are the uh, mangrove snapper. All down there. Let's start fishing. Okay. What in the world is that noise? It's the birds. They're just regular birds. Yeah. So crazy. Sounds like Jurassic Park right behind us right now. You gotta wait for your paint. Okay. But that's gonna just keep that line up. So push it with your finger, push it that way. So that's good. When it takes off, that's when you gotta fish it. You wanna call, you're gonna shut that bell and start running. Right now? Or no, when no, when fish? they take it. Okay. Like that. David just to think David's got one. Got one for sure. Yeah, you got something. Ooh. See what thing bit yours yet, babe? No, do I just keep going? Yeah, keep going. It, it's going out. Okay, like now, now, now if it's going out, close it and just brill in and tug up. Oh, oh you, you got some? Pull it. You got something. Rod tip up. You've got something. Kelly's got something. Yep. Real. You go, girl. Reel it in. Keep your rod up and reel. Reel, 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 reel. First bait. Put him over the boat. 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 Tails at zero. The head is 11. 11 inches, babe. So over 10's a keeper. Okay. Oh my god. Go, girl, go. You go, Kelly. That's a good one. What you got there? That's not a. That's not this one. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. All right, don't bring him in the boat. Okay. What is it? It's nasty. Oh. Oh, great. Yeah. So bring me your line. How? 
Oh, I got it. He came off. Okay. Good. Okay. What uh, was that? <laughs> those are uh, those are called Bermuda chubs. So they eat grass and they crap all over your boat. They taste horrible. They're not. You don't bring those on board. Kelly and David both caught keepers at the same time, back to back. Almost eleven. That's a keeper. Like eleven. Yep, almost eleven. They're like identical size. <laughs> Y'all caught twins. So far I've caught one keeper, David's caught two, and Kelly's caught two. Is that right? Is that the numbers? Yes, I've caught two. We got five in the box. Oh, I got one. I got one. Good Lord. Cody's got two. 11. I got a keeper. Good. You know this is your fight. Don't bring him in the boat. That's a uh, uh, get a chub. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. It's hurting my ribs. No, turn it over. It's hurting my ribs. <laughs> let him fight. Let him fight. Let him. Let him. Let him fight. He's got that drag. You remember? Let him fight. Ah, I can't. My wrist. It's hurting. So listen. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Pull up with your rod. Now reel down. Reel. Down. Up, yep. What? So pull up with the rod. Now ready. Reel. Now stop. Let's see. Let's see that there. All right, so that there's a Bermuda chub. Mm -hmm. so we do not want him in the boot. Man, that hurts my wrist. I wonder if I should just switch hands. Maybe the other one was better. There is so much action going on. Kelly, you might have caught two of the nastiest fish on the I face know. of the planet, but you're catching fish. Yeah. How much fun was that? It's fun. Oh, yeah. That one? Oh, look at you go. That's a keeper right there. Mm hmm. Kelly's going to outfish David and I. How many is that now for me? Three? If you include the nasty fish, I'd say you reeled in Four, five. Five. All right. David. Cool. That's mangrove. Beautiful. Time to move on, guys? Yeah, I think we're going to go out to open water. We don't want to get greedy. Yeah, it's really good here. Yeah. We found a beautiful place to anchor down. We're in Marvin Key, but we have come around to the other side. The tide is still pretty high, and usually this is very, very shallow. This is a perfect spot right now for us. And David is filleting the fish and enjoying this view. We just saw a shark. I think he's still there. There he is, right there. I cannot believe how close Cody is getting to these sharks. I can't believe I'm in the water either. Look, it's right there. That was good. That was good. Yeah, that was a good one. Cody's getting my kitchen set up. So we have our little outdoor stove top here with two burners. And we're going to cook up that snapper. So we brought our large 10 pound propane that we use for outdoor cooking and a cast iron skillet, a spatula, some spices, seasonings, um, oil. Make sure that's in there tight. Open one of those up and light it and see if it works. There it goes. Okay, we're good. All right. Good on that. What else do you need, honey? Cast iron. Cast iron. Spatula. Spatula. Spices. Spices. And where's the fish at? Let's see. Where's the fish is in the front? Okay, so I need a plate. Look at all that fish that Kelly caught. Some Captain Dave, of course. A couple. I need yeah. a, a fork. You need a fork? You guys held your own. We what? We held our own? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. 
All right, work. Kelly's just cooking some fish with sharks swimming around her, man. How hardcore is she? Well, they might come over here. I don't know. What are you putting on here today? Onion powder. Uh, this is cayenne pepper, paprika, salt pepper. We're going to let our pan heat up first, and I'm going to season the back side of this fish. Kelly's even cooler than me. She got the long sleeve shirt that has the hoodie on it. Sugar loaf marina, man. I've had enough sun. We've been out here like three, four days in a row. Yeah. <laughs> I think golf karting in Key West was the least amount of sun we've had. Yeah, for sure. Where is your other forks? Hands. I can look for the forks. I'm not quite sure where they're at. They're in here somewhere. They were should have been with the plates. Where were the plates at? Oh, uh, oh, didn't we move everything over there? I think we did. Yeah, it's all underneath. What do you think, Captain David? What I've had so far is delicious. Can't wait to eat this right here, man. Mm, great teamwork today. I'll tell you what, all came together and caught fish. Even Angel Princess, you killed it. Mm -hmm. And she caught more than everybody. Yeah, you did catch more than everybody else. Well, the fish don't get any fresher than that. But we want to thank Captain Dave. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. It's been great, brother. Yeah, it's been a great time. But we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.